hi everyone in uh, today's video i am going to show you what happens when the density changes the draft remains the same but the displacement changes so how do you go about calculating it so the question is that a ship anchors at the mouth of the river where the water density is 1.022 tons per metric cube the ship's draft was found to be 25 centimeters below its loaded draft the ship then pumps out 270 tons of ballast water and consumes 18 tons of fuel and fresh water combined before berthing in the river where the water density is 1.012 ton per metric cube it is found that the draft on berthing is the same as anchor so what was the ship's displacement at anchorage so in case you think this is too much information let's break this down there is a ship here at anchorage right the density is 1.022 tons per metric cube it's floating at a certain draft which is not given to us of course all we are told is that it is 25 centimeters let's say below the summer draft which is not given to us that's fine this is just for our understanding here all right now at the anchorage the ship consumes or rather pumps out 270 tons of ballast water and consumes 18 tons of fuel and fresh water combined right so in total it gets rid of 288 tons of weight ship has become lighter by 288 tons it then proceeds to berth at the river the density of which is 1.012 ton per metric cube however on berthing the draft is still the same although we did get rid of 288 tons at the mouth of the river so at the mouth of the river whatever the displacement was now when we reach the berth should be 288 tons lighter that's fine but the draft is the same so now we are being asked what was the displacement here when the ship was at the mouth of the river so displacement also denoted by a triangle let's find out what was the displacement here and how can we go about finding it so in case one where the displacement was at the mouth of the river let's call it displacement at mouth of river equals underwater volume multiplied by density of the water in which it is floating or it is anchored so in this case displacement at mouth equals length by breadth by draft which is the formula for underwater volume multiplied by the density of the water in which it was anchored 1.022 ton per metric cube right now the density at the berth is equal to also the same length by breadth by draft multiplied by 1.012 because the length breadth doesn't change and we are told that the draft is the same as well the only thing that has changed is the density but the displacement at birth is also equal to if i have to get rid of it so displacement at birth remember is the same displacement which was at anchorage or at the mouth of the river minus 288 tons correct so whatever was the displacement at the mouth of the river minus 288 tons is the displacement at birth as well all right so here if i take equation number one and equation number two let's take equation number one according to equation number one if i keep length breadth and draft on one end and i transfer this to the other end what do i get i get length by breadth by draft equals displacement by 1.022 similarly if i take equation 2 and i equate length breadth by draft and I keep it on one end and i take this to the other what do i get length by breadth by draft equals displacement minus 288 divided by 1.012 correct now the length breadth and draft in both cases is the same the ship's length and breadth does not change and we have been told that the draft remained the same as well so what can we say we can say that displacement by 1.022 equals displacement by minus 288 divided by 
right which both both of them is equal to length by breadth by draft which is the underwater volume right but we are not un interested in this anymore we have we don't even know the ship's length breadth and draft so we are not interested in this anymore we have to find out the displacement at the mouth of the river so what do we do cross multiply so consider the displacement as x right so let's say displacement equals x so what can we say x multiplied by 1.012 equals 1.022 x minus 288 i just made it x so that it's easier for you to understand what is the unknown variable here all right so we've got 1.012 x equals 1.022 x and then you multiply 1.022 with 288 as well and you get 294.336 i take this to the other side and i take this to here so the x has come on one side and the number is made positive so 1.022 x minus 1.012 x right this becomes 294.336 equals 0. 010 x or x equals to 294.336 divided by 0 0.010 which is equal to 2943.6 tons now this x is equal to nothing but displacement of ship at mouth of river All right, so at stage one here, this is the displacement. 2943.6 tons is the displacement at the mouth of the river. If I need to find out the displacement at birth, what will it be? So displacement at birth will be equal to nothing but 2943.6 minus 288. Whatever is the answer. But we don't have to find that out, so I just... This is the displacement and birth if you have to find that out. But we had to find this value out. So this is what we're interested in. And that is the answer. So guys, I hope you understood this video. It was easy for you to understand. Although there was a lot of information given to us. Uh, don't have to get overwhelmed. All you have to do is just basically start sorting the information one step at a time. You see that this value here, 25 centimeters below the loaded draft, was not even important for us to know. It was not important. It was just there to confuse us. So like, comment, share, subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.